Hello everyone, this is Aoi, and welcome back to Ensemble Stars for another scouting video. It's been a little while, mostly because uh, now that the anime has finally started, which is very exciting, uh, they've gone down to only one new gacha per month, so there's not quite as many chances to scout because there aren't as many new cards coming out anymore. We've got basically one new event per month, and then this unit collection event which gets you cards that have the pictures from the anime endings and the solos and free scouting tickets and things like that. So it's kind of nice, but it does lessen the chance um, or the opportunity to make scouting videos. So for the next few months, they may be a little more sparse depending on what gotchas come out and when I decide to scout, but we'll kind of see what happens as it goes along. Uh, the anime in itself is very exciting. I want to know what you guys think of it so far. We are six episodes in, which from what we've heard is about a quarter of the season, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. I mean, we've seen the main story so many times in so many different formats by now, but I think they're keeping it fresh by adding the uh, flashbacks in. And obviously, um, considering Mika is my best boy, I am very happy they decided to adapt Marionette into anime form, even though it hurt, but um, seeing all the characters in the anime is so great. So. I can't complain too much about the new format in the game. It's obviously tailored toward people who are just coming into it being new from the anime, so I understand that they'd want to uh, capitalize on that a little bit. But uh, as for what I've been doing in the meantime, I've still been playing the events. I've had a little bit of luck in terms of random solos and things like that, so we'll, we'll take a look at the cards and then we'll actually get into what we're here for tonight, which is the uh, Undead Revival Scouting. So most of these are event cards. Um, in terms of cards from gotchas, this Tsukasa I <laughs> managed to solo because I did not have enough Daya to scout for him. Uh, I did one solo. I think he was the very first 5-star I've ever soloed on this account, which was very unexpected. Usually my luck in gacha games is a lot better in solos than it is in full pulls. Uh, not in on-stars, so this was really nice because this card is beautiful go back out here. This Tomoya I got, I think when the anime started they gave out one free roll at some point and uh, I got very lucky and ended up getting him, which I thought was a a good reward considering when they gave out the free roll for the anniversary scout, I got an all three star roll. So I uh, I thought I would do something good from the free rolls and this happened. So this is this is the, uh, if it would change, this is the dress Tomoya. So he's he's very cute. I don't think I've ever gotten one of his five stars before, so it was actually really nice to get him. And then this Oni Subaru I got during the last unit collection event when they had the uh, solo tickets for each character, the solo scouting tickets, and I did manage to get a five star from that. I think all the other ones were all three stars for the other characters, but Subaru was very nice to me and I love this card. So I've had some decent luck, not necessarily with scouting, but with getting five stars lately, so I'm not sure what that means for tonight, but uh, we'll go into it and we'll see what happens. And so the reason I have this Kaoru and this Koga out here is because they are the only CD cards that I've gotten from Undead so far. I don't think I ever scouted... oh, these are the unit collection cards. So I mean, they're, they're not that special in terms of art quality, they're mostly for collection purposes, and uh, as I discovered during the Trickstar event, you need to play a lot to be able to max out the cards. So I think for the Undead event, what I'm going to focus on is uh, getting the scouting tickets and unlocking their solos so I can use them for background music, because that the cards by themselves aren't as strong as regular event cards, and with as long as I've been playing the game, they don't really make it onto my teams with single copies. So I think that's going to be the goal from now on. That's kind of <laughs> what I'm focusing on during the events. But for tonight, what we're going to do if I can find the right screen, is uh, this. So the rates are not as good as they were the first time that the album cards were released. I think at that point they were 17% and now they're seven and a half for the four stars. And then once we scroll through all the four stars that exist in this gotcha, come on. And you can see three out of 252 for the, for the three stars. So. I'm not actually that hopeful I'll get any of these, but I would like some of them because I don't have any from this set. I'm not sure why I didn't scout at the time, probably a combination of not having enough die and doing other gotchas. But uh, Undead is 
probably my third favorite unit overall, so I would really like some of these cards. And if I could get uh, either Adonis or Ray to, to help complete the, <laughs> the four star album set, that would be really nice too. And in terms of what gotcha we're doing tonight, we are doing billiards because I never actually got a chance to scout for it considering it came out at the same time as the 3A class gotcha and at the same time as the Haunted Dollhouse event. So I needed all the diet I could get at that point to rank for Mika and never actually got the chance to scout despite the fact that 3A is my bias class and uh, this mama is beautiful and I really, really want the scouter as well. So. Considering the rates, this counter was probably my priority, but I'd really like any of the album cards, and you know, if Mama wanted to come home, I, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> so we'll get right into it. Um, I'm actually kind of excited. I haven't done a full scout in OnStars probably since my birthday. It's been a couple months, which is a long time for me in this game. I've been soloing more than I probably should have, but I saved up for this, so we're going to see what happens. So let's do it. Okay, no rainbow doors, that could mean anything. Three four stars is actually pretty good. Is that, uh, okay, that's initial Midori. Uh, I got him a very, very long time ago, so that is a dupe, but that's okay. Hopefully <laughs> we get something new out of this. And maybe some three stars. Okay, that's just a, <laughs> just a normal ray. I got excited for half a second there. Okay. There we go. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> I really, really like these outfits. I, Again, it was so long ago that this album came out, I can't tell you why I didn't scout at the time, but I am very happy to get him now. So this is probably the only time I'll get really excited about getting three stars. Yay, my ninja-san. I love Shinobu so much. I This, I believe, is his story scout card, which I have never gotten before, so I am always happy to see him. And that is a dupe that's one of the very few cards I have. Still a very nice card, so not mad about it. Is a I don't think I have that Soma yet. Okay. So that was kind of successful. <laughs> I don't think we got well this Soma is actually from the billiard set, so we did get one card from the set. But other than that, yeah, so I have two copies of that Midori. Uh, the Shinobu is new. Again, story scout cards are not particularly exciting. But they do have a couple of stories and a voice clip and things like that. And I said, he's he's one of my uh, my stealth favorites, so I'm always happy to see Shinobu. And uh, this Ray, <laughs> which I am very, very happy about. And I want to see if I can actually unlock his... I don't know if I can if it's at level 40. I don't think I'll be able to, but I'll see how far I can get. Yeah, no, not quite. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll pick up a few more producer points and I'll be able to uh, to unlock his outfit pretty quickly, I think. And then I actually got two copies of that Kauru last time, so my third copy of that one. But you know what? That's okay. I can always scout again in this set, you know, maybe when Mama's Revivals come around, um, because I do still want some of those billiard cards. They're very nice. But, other than that, that was fairly successful. I'm pretty happy about that. I wanted to get you guys a video because I haven't been <laughs> posting a lot of videos lately. Just, this summer has been kind of crazy in terms of unexpected things happening in my life. Um, mostly through work and work opportunities that I wasn't anticipating, which aren't necessarily bad things, but have kind of affected my schedule in general. So, as always with this game, and especially with the gotcha schedule being slowed down, I'm not necessarily sure when I'll scout again. We don't know what the next unit collection event will be. If it's going by the backgrounds, it'll probably be Fine. If it's going by the anime endings, it'll be Rabbits. So we'll have to see next month what happens. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think of the anime. I do have a Discord <laughs> that I've set up technically for anime episode discussions, but it's really just a general Ensemble Stars Discord, so I'm gonna throw the link to that in the description, and uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter or say hi, I am at underscore Mikarashis. I will link that as well, and yeah, I hope if you guys are scouting in this revival, you have good luck. If you've scouted for the new Wataru, who is gorgeous, and uh, Wataru never comes home for me, so I did not scout for him, but I hope you had good luck in that as well, and I will see you later, so bye for now.